for joining me today. I've got a couple of questions for you about the open digital architecture. Um, my first question is, why is it important for Telefonica to collaborate on developing the open digital architecture? So this is, this is not important. This is key. So let me, let me emphasize. So um, we, we have been doing an extraordinary job working hard in the access capabilities in all the digitalization tools, thinking in, be sure that we have the right technology, the right capabilities, so the right uh, robots, networks itself. And we have been doing an extraordinary job, so all of us. <clears throat> what happened with the IT world? So we have been maintaining so the uh, former uh, architecture. So we have been on thinking and how we can really build fast and and better the network that, that that we need to manage so and and this is fully applicable for the bss and the oss and the ocs the charging capabilities so in the past seven to eight years we have been working hard in the it so evolving the legacy but we don't the architecture had been not the right one to be honest in my opinion so and we need to recognize it so and we were working Identifying how will be the platforms itself that can help us trying to, with the right architecture, build the right blocks in the right cloud capabilities and defining architecture that need to help us trying to build blocks, simples, and not black boxes that we have been building with the vendor, with the traditional vendor. So if you see what we have been doing with the video platform, for instance, in Telefonica, we built an open video platform, different pieces the right pieces that can evolve very fast. In less than 12 to 18 months, we can prepare and plug and play new blocks that they are the best in the market, best practices, and they are helping us trying to serve our customer immediately in a pure digital experience. This is what we try to define with the, with the open architecture. So we call TODA, but it is the ODA that we are working with the TM forum. So how we can define the architecture that can help us building blocks in a very simple way, being faster and need to be fully applicable for the PSS, but for the OSS too. So, and this architecture itself that we have been working very hard with the, with the TM Forum, it is the core of the digitalization, looking at our customer and being faster and being resilient and working with the pure APification that we are doing in Telefonica. So if you put all this together, so, and you are reducing the phases and you are thinking in 12 to 18 months. So, with a pure agile capabilities, this is the architecture that we have been defining. And if you are investing billions in FTDH, investing, investing billions in 4G+, 5G, and you are not building this architecture, so you are building an extraordinary machine that it is very difficult to manage. And every time you need to evolve, you need to stop the machine and you need to build a new black box. So managing. So this open architecture, this open digital architecture, it is the, they are the pillars helping us trying to be so agile in how we manage the systems and how we manage the commercial system and how we manage the network itself. Doing this in a very smoothly and clever way. So, and this is what we are building. This is for us, all the billions that we are investing, if they are now coming by the hand of this new architecture, it will be just difficult to serve our customer as they are asking to do it. Excellent. Um, and you've signed the manifesto. What would be your message to encourage other people? Why should other people sign the manifesto and join Telefonica? Sometimes it's very difficult. It is very difficult to send a message to the industry that this is not a, this is not a matter of black box. We are we are escaping about this. So they need to understand that the all the pieces of the networks that we are building, this is not only for the IT, it is IT and network, it will be radically cloudified, radically softwareized. So this paradigm that we are building with the pieces in the in the open uh, uh, platforms and the open architecture. For the IT, it is extrapolable to the uh, network itself, all the open radio access network, which is how I am 
walking through the pure saborization and cloudification of the traditional black boxes of the different vendor it is a must. The native cloud solution, they are coming. We start with the PNF, we are now with the SDN, and this is unstoppable, you cannot stop it. The vendors need to understand that the industry is going through a pure cloud native solution. This is for the IT, means OSS, DSS, OCAs, APIs, and network itself. Today, none of us understand that we will be building on packet core, on PCRF, SDN solutions, so nothing that it is not a pure, pure, pure cloudified or virtualized solution. So now none of us understand that the uh, IT traditional solution they will be building by blocks for a single vendor that will be helping us to evolve all this black box. Splitting, simplifying, and evolving through a pure cloud native. So we learn it. So all our vendors need to understand it. And you cannot stop it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time today, Enrique. Lovely. No, thank you for you. And <laughs> thank you for this opportunity because we are extraordinarily involved. And I really appreciate and I want to thanks to the, to the TM Forum helping us trying to do this initial idea as an industry uh, idea more than a single vendor. And all of us, we are in the same boat and we need to uh, push and solve it. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.